Today's test is going to be of PMC Starfire round. This round is chambered in 357 Magnum and it's a 150 grain bullet with a jacketed hollow point. It features a brass casing as well. The review will consist of the ammunition to see how it performs in a short barreled revolver, which you commonly find among concealed carry holders. We've already run this through a chronograph and received an average velocity of 817 feet per second, which equates to 222 foot-pounds of energy at the muzzle. PMC claims a velocity of 1,350 feet, but does not state a barrel length. My only assumption would be they're testing it from a 4 to 6 inch barrel to get this velocity, as ours was coming in much lower in our shorter barreled revolver. So let's jump to it and see how it performs in ballistics gel. Okay, so let's take a look. This is a brand new block of ballistics gelatin from Clear Ballistics. I've also started to calibrate my blocks according to FBI specs, which is a 177 caliber BB, fired at 600 feet per second, and both of these blocks penetrated about the same. This block penetrating 3.4 inches, the second block was penetrating 3.3 inches. So let's take a look at the wound tracks. I fired two rounds because the first one didn't expand and I just wanted to make sure it wasn't a fluke. So you can see very thin, very small wound profiles there. You can see a little bit of an energy dump on the second shot, but it's that very flat, long um, wound track that's very characteristic of the rounds that do not expand, did not get it on the first round as well. Here you're seeing some denim. This is at about 13 inches in. And then we'll carry on over here. You can see both rounds. This blog's a little flocky, foggy because it's an older round. And we're coming in at about 18 and a half inches of penetration there. So you take another quick look. You can kind of see all along this track here. Not going to cut into this because there's not much to see, but let's pull the bullets out and take a look. So when I pulled the blocks apart, I just wanted to show this here. This is the right hand side of the block as you saw it. So you can see that wound track is coming around here. A very big chunk of denim was in that bullet. And I think that's the main reason why it did not expand. And I think could be a reason why a lot of my tests aren't leading to expansion is the denim's clogging the bullets. Um, I'm going to be trying a five shot test all at the same time with different bullets that I've already tested and a different denim to see if that leads to different results in this block here. All right, let's get the bullets out, take a look and I'll give you my... Okay, so here are the two bullets. So you can see this here, hopefully it will focus. That was what I pulled out. You can see that big clog of denim in there. Let's see if I can pull it out for you now. But completely clogged up with denim. This one didn't have it, but I'm guessing that was this. This is the second bullet where it dumped that dunk chunk of denim late on. Not going to weigh or look at expansion because neither of these expanded. So I'm going to wait and make a final thoughts on this. I'm going to test this round as well as a few other rounds next weekend, and I'll put a video up of all those shots and firing to see if I change the denim, if it, if it makes a difference in expansion, because I feel like that could be skewing my results. Um, the denim I have almost it feels a little bit loose. Um, which could, you know, be clogging the tips a little bit more. So, I'm going to wait and reserve judgment. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like. Subscribe if you want to see more videos, because I plan on making a lot more and sharing them with you. Thanks again for watching.